first quarter on the first possession. We talked about turnovers being key. Paul Lasique coughs it up right here and leads to a Memphis touchdown. And just like that, here come the Tigers. Paxson Lynch, who was very good in that first half, 33 yards for the score. It's 7 0. But back comes BYU. You know, Christian Stewart to Mitch Jurgens, my guy that I thought would have a big game, had a big first quarter, wide open. And early in this game, Memphis's vaunted defense didn't look good. In that first quarter, BYU had people wide open. Lynch, 6'7. David, he showed he was pretty mobile. Yeah, once again, we didn't think he had the blazing speed, but he shows there outside the pocket, he has those long strides, able to get to the pylon. Brian, what happens here? Mitch Matthews wide open. Well, you got a big body. Mitch Matthews, like 6'6, like 6'7, six, 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 gets a 5A corner. Accidents happen. Bad pass by Stewart, picked off by the Tigers this late in the first quarter on to the second and it's Lynch again Blaine just a big body running straight ahead. Yeah we saw that not only does he have decent quickness but he's very strong he uses leverage he gets down gets that pad level down for a six seven quarterback. I was impressed with how he ran the football. Jordan Leslie into the end zone back in that's a phenomenal catch pulls the Cougars within three. Lynch picked off by Alani Fua and he's thinking he's going to the house David. Yeah it was, it was a terrific interception by Alani. It's one of those things where he's dropping back in zone and he's watching the quarterback. He settles, jumps up in the air, tips to himself, and he gets a nice little return. That sets up this. Paul Lasique in for his first touchdown of the day. It's 28-24 BYU at the half. Now to the dubious third quarter, Blaine, and it starts with Lynch straight ahead. And, and Memphis had a little bit going, and they're the only ones that had anything going. BYU just could not get anything going uh, in that third quarter. This ball underthrown on a, on a throw across the middle to, to Mitchell Jurgens and Memphis, I, I wouldn't say they're great in the third quarter, but BYU was non-existent offensively in that third quarter. 38, took it off. 28, Tigers. Now we go to the fourth and things come alive. Brian Manoa Picula with the pick. Yeah, he's looking like a DB right here with his hands. And he just read the quarterback, his eyes, and he got depth, which is the most important thing, was able to, to get right underneath the ball. Field goal up and good by Trevor Sampson, 38-31. Ensuing kickoff. Joe Craig has the ball for the moment, David. Yeah, turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. They, they can change a game. We see here BYU was down 10 and two turnovers in a row, and BYU is right back in it. That sets up Paul Lasique after making a catch. They get down close. Lasique is going to get in. He actually has his knee down several places, but they don't call it. <laughs> He's into the end BYU zone. He kicks the field goal before they can review that one, or the extra point before they can review that one. Tied up at 38. Here's Zach Stout. Zach Stout does a great job reading the eyes of the quarterback, getting that pass in the line, catching the ball, and finishing the play. Under a minute to go. It's fourth and four. The Cougars can win the game with a stop. And and we're counting Mississippi's. That's eight Mississippi for those yeah, of you guys are counting Mississippi's on one yeah. Mississippi. You got sacked twice. In, uh, if you have eight Mississippi's, I don't care if you have eight guys in coverage, yeah. right? You sacked twice. Right? Sampson, this is a 45 yarder longest of the year in overtime gives BYU the lead. Cougars come back for a 55 yard field goal by Elliott and this one could have been good from 65. We go into the second overtime period. Quick work here for the Tigers. Lynch to Proctor 48. Well, 55-48, and then the interception, which ends the game and starts the fight. This after a short run on first down, it leaves Christian Stewart a second long. He goes deep, throws it too far, and the Tigers pick it off, and they win it in overtime, 55-48. to 48. And uh, 